Have you ever wondered why Venus, a planet with such extreme conditions, is often called Earth's twin? Over the centuries, Venus, our neighboring planet, has been bestowed with this paradoxical nickname, a term that suggests a mirror image, a kindred spirit. Yet the harsh reality of Venus's environment appears to challenge this notion at every turn. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is often considered Earth's sister planet due to their similar sizes and masses. They are so close in size, in fact, that Venus is the closest to Earth in terms of physical dimensions among all the planets in our solar system. Both planets share a rocky composition and have thick atmospheres, but that's where the similarities seem to end. Venus is shrouded in a thick, toxic atmosphere primarily composed of carbon dioxide, with clouds that rain sulfuric acid. Yes, you heard right, sulfuric acid. The surface of Venus is a hellish landscape with temperatures hot enough to melt lead, reaching up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. And what about water, the elixir of life as we know it? Venus is bone dry. Scientists believe that any water that may have existed on the planet has long since evaporated due to these extreme temperatures. So, it seems we have a rocky, hot, and dry world that is nothing like the lush, water-rich, and life-sustaining world we call home. So, if Venus is so hostile, why do we still call it Earth's twin? Let's delve deeper into the mystery. When we talk about the surface conditions of Venus, we're entering a world of extremes. It's like peering into a cauldron of cosmic proportions. Venus is a celestial inferno with temperatures averaging around 865 degrees Fahrenheit. To put that into perspective, that's hot enough to melt lead. The air pressure on Venus is also incredibly high, roughly 92 times greater than Earth's at sea level. Imagine the pressure you'd feel about 3,000 feet under the ocean, that's what standing on Venus would feel like. It's a pressure cooker environment, quite literally. And then there's the constant volcanic activity. Venus is riddled with thousands of volcanoes, some of which are still active today. This makes it one of the most volcanically lively places in our entire solar system. The constant eruptions spew large amounts of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to Venus's thick, toxic air. This leads us to one of the primary reasons for Venus's extreme heat, the greenhouse effect. The planet's dense atmosphere, made up largely of carbon dioxide, traps in heat from the sun. This heat has nowhere to go, so it simply builds up, turning Venus into a sizzling celestial furnace. Now, you might be wondering about water. After all, where there's heat and pressure, there's usually the potential for water, but not on Venus. The planet's scorching temperatures and corrosive atmosphere make it impossible for liquid water to exist. Any water that might have been on Venus's surface would have evaporated long ago, leaving behind a dry and desolate landscape. So Venus isn't exactly a vacation spot, it's a place of extremes, a world of scorching heat, crushing pressure, and relentless volcanic activity. It's a testament to the diverse and often hostile environments that exist within our own solar system. Venus is a hot, high-pressure volcanic nightmare, a stark contrast to our cool blue Earth. Despite these harsh conditions, Venus shares striking similarities with Earth, hence the nickname. Let's delve into this paradox and explore why Venus, under the infernal surface, is often referred to as Earth's twin. Firstly, Earth and Venus are almost identical in size, with Venus having about 95% of Earth's diameter. They're so close in size that they're often referred to as planetary siblings. In terms of mass, too, Venus isn't far off. It has about 80% of Earth's mass, which makes it the closest match to our planet in the entire solar system. The composition of Venus also mirrors Earth in many ways. Both planets are rocky, with a crust, mantle, and core. They both have substantial atmospheres, though Venus's is much denser and predominantly composed of carbon dioxide. Moreover, Venus and Earth were likely quite similar billions of years ago. Some scientists speculate that Venus might have had oceans of liquid water in a climate similar to Earth's before a runaway greenhouse effect turned it into the scorching hellscape we see today. Yet despite these similarities, Venus is far from being a twin in terms of habitability. The surface of Venus is a literal inferno with temperatures hot enough to melt lead and atmospheric pressure equivalent to being about half a mile deep in Earth's oceans. The air is almost entirely carbon dioxide and the clouds are made of sulfuric acid. These extreme conditions make Venus not only uninhabitable to humans, 
but also incredibly challenging to explore even with robotic missions. The longest any spacecraft has survived on Venus's surface is a mere 127 minutes, a record set by the Soviet Venera 13 mission in 1981. So Venus, our inhospitable twin, serves as a stark reminder of how unique and precious Earth's conditions truly are. It's a vivid example of how planets that seem similar in many ways can end up so drastically different and why we should cherish the delicate balance that allows life to thrive on our own blue planet. Let's recap what we've learned about our so-called twin planet. Venus, despite its nickname, is a world apart from Earth. Its surface conditions are a stark contrast to our own, characterized by extreme heat and dryness, with temperatures hot enough to melt lead. This inferno is primarily due to a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping heat and creating a boiling hellscape devoid of liquid water. The paradox lies in the fact that despite these harsh conditions, Venus and Earth share striking similarities. They're almost identical in size, composition, and proximity to the Sun. This stark contrast in surface conditions, despite such similarities, underscores the importance of understanding Venus better. Studying Venus gives us a unique perspective to appreciate our own planet's climatic balance and the delicate equilibrium that sustains life. Venus serves as a mirror, reflecting what could happen if this equilibrium were to be disrupted. In the grand theater of space, Venus, Earth's paradoxical twin, continues to captivate and confound us with its fiery allure.